Get into talking few points. Uh, I wanted to share one of our experiences in working uh, with uh, a leading, you know, company. Matrimony.com is India's largest matchmaking portal. This particular video. Uh, as far as technology is concerned, uh, and I'm not giving an IBM point of view, but personally, if you were to ask me, technology cuts across whether it is small or medium or large. It's everywhere, right? You cannot say I can only use technology if I'm a large company or not required for a small company, right? So that's not the situation. It cuts across all industries, no matter how big or small it is. That's the first point. Second, the way technology is being delivered today, this is an example of that. This particular video is an example of that. People sitting across the globe doing different things, working in different time zones, right? They all, you know, use a particular technology or service to come together, to like each other, so on and so forth, leading to a marriage in this particular case. It could be true for business. The way technology is leveraged, depending on what exactly is your requirement or business need, be it on the personal front or on the professional front, if you are working for a company or if you are an entrepreneur yourself, it's left to our imagination today. It's up to us to pick up the right technology and deliver it to the end user the way it is required in the fastest possible time. So time is of essence today. That, you know, can cut across boundaries of every country all along, you know. Having said this, How is technology delivered today? So IBM has a point of view on that. For example, if in old times, we all remember there used to be huge chunks of hardware sitting in such big rooms, you know, just to install the, you know, equipment, maintain it, right, requiring some dozens of air conditioning equipment to maintain it. We still do need them, right? The size of the hardware has actually crunched today uh, significantly, but the power that it requires to run is humongous. With the shortage of power that we have today, except some very large companies where they have some specific IT budgets, many other companies are looking at alternatives today. How do I run my technology efficiently that meet my business goals and objectives? So what is the solution? What is the alternative? 